Okay, my dudes, what is up? And we are back here once again with some more Buckle Gun unboxing. Now, this is another five set we actually got right here. Absolutely awesome. This is the Aurelus Gorgonoid Ultra and the Darkest Hydrus Ultra as well. Now, I've got one more five set to unbox after this as well. I can't wait to do that. And then I'll probably open up the Battle Arena and then we can start doing battles for you guys as well. So as you guys can see, we have an Aquas, Pyrus, and Aventus right here that we have no clue what it is. Um, in the last episode, we opened up the Pyrus Maxator and it had epic stuff in there. And I can't wait to see what these are. I don't know what they are, I just can't wait to see what they are. So let's look at the back quickly. This is what the back looks like. Now, if you guys watched a lot, here's the battle arena. If you guys haven't seen it, I got it. Obviously, I'm going to do it after the next one. And then we can start doing battles for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you guys watched the last episode, I'll tell you what you actually get in here. If you already watched it, you know. But if you don't, basically, you're going to get five character cards or five Bokugan character cards. Because you've got five Bokugan Buckle gun, you need them cards for them. And then the other five, which are these ones actually, I think these ones are the character ones and these ones are the battle ones, yeah. These are the trading card game ones. There's gonna be five random ones in there to put towards the uh, actual trading card game, which I cannot wait to get cards and play. So what I'm gonna do is instead of, I'm trying to rip it all open in front of you guys, because these are actually tough to get out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unbox everything and then uh, we'll go through it all. So let me just quickly unbox it and then we'll go from there. Okay, dudes, we've got everything open right here. I haven't looked at the character cards just yet, and I don't want to either, because this is a surprise and I want to keep it like that. So first thing we're going to look at is the buckle cores. It comes with 10 of them. So we've got a fist here, and this one is, oh, that's the wrong one. This one here is a plus 50 B power, power plus one attack, which is okay. We've got a helix, which is, wow, plus 600 B power, but, you lose three attacks. So it'd be okay if you want to win the battle, but then uh, you have to make sure you get them extra attacks as well. This one here, oh, 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 oh. if you pick up both of them, that's actually kind of awesome. Uh, minus 200 B power, but 500 attack. I mean, five extra attack, sorry. But yeah, that's a good one if you win the battle and then you can get them extra attacks. Another helix, uh, wow, trap, trap buckle core right here. This is a trap. Minus 300 B power and minus one attack right there. Then we get a Fiery Fist. This one is, this is good. Plus 250 B power and three attacks. Very good, I'm gonna be using that. Then we got the Shield, which is if you are a Hayus or a Pyrus, you actually get plus 400 B power. Awesome. Another Fiery Fist, this one here, you get an extra 150 B power and four attacks. Very good one as well, gonna be keeping that. Another fist, plus two attacks. Another fist, plus two attack again. Last one, fiery fist. This one is plus five attack, wow, awesome. They're actually good buckle cores in here. They're really awesome. All right, so, um, should we go straight to these ones? Right, let's look at these ones first, because we've already opened up, right? We've already opened up the uh, Ultra Hydrus, but this is the darkest version. Guys, look how epic that looks. That just looks so amazing. I absolutely love this. That is so cool. Oh man, dudes. I'm not gonna get like so like crazy, crazy like uh, hype about this because we've already seen this, but uh, the colors, the colors are epic. I like the darkest colors, but Ventus colors are probably better, man. All right, here is the Aurelus. Um, Garganoid right here now. I really like this one because it reminds me of like a gold sort of clan. This is like, remember, Subterror is gone. So obviously now this is the new faction in there, um, which is Aurelus. And it seems really powerful. And I actually forgot to do something. We forgot to look for the B power on here. So quickly B, what? Are you kidding me? Can you guys actually see that? Can you guys see that? 800 B power. This is by far the strongest buckle con we've got. 
800 B power. That is the strongest buckle gun we got, guys. 800. Wow. All right. So, Aralus Garganoid, 700. Guys, 700 B power. Now, if you guys watched the last five pack I opened, they were weak. They were like 100 B power, 200 B power. So far, these two, 700 and 800. That is insane. Look how cool this Garganoid looks. This Garganoid in uh, the gold color looks so epic. I like that. I really like that. Um, all right, so we're going to look at the cards last because this is going to give away what's in them balls. So let's just set up this quickly. Let's just put these all down. And this is what you're going to have to do when you play the game as well. you got to settle. Ooh, move them balls away. We don't want them opening up. We can't have them opening up. Let me just space them like this quickly. And there you go. I think that should be okay. All right. I'm going to go with the Pyrus first. Just because I like Ventus colors the best, I want to leave Ventus to last. All right. I think I'm going to try and guess what this is. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. It looks like it's got a neck. Maybe like... It can't be another Dragonoid. It can't be another Dragonoid. It can't, it can't be another Dragonoid. I don't think we've already got that, but I'm going to go... I think it is a Dragonoid, you know. I'm going to go... Let's see. If it opens up. Oh, no, it's Trox! I forgot about Trox! How did I forget about Trox? This is a Pyrus Trox, yo, guys. That's insane. Look how epic that looks. Oh, Py I forgot about Trox. How could I forget about Trox? I should have known from the legs. I should have known from the legs. Yo, Pyrus Trox. Right, where's the B power? We got to look for the, there it is. 500, this is a strong five pack. So far, if you're going to buy a, a five pack, this is the best five pack because the other one weren't that strong. But yo, that looks sick. That looks so cool. All right, Aquas, I'm going to go with, yo, this is Vangzor, uh, Vang yeah, this is Vangzor. I'm going with Vangzor. Yes! Vangzor, I got that one right, dude. Got that one right. This, yo! Six, guys. 600 B power. Six, is this, is this like random? Or is this like in every box? Like how strong or weak these are? Because I feel like the last five pack was so underpowered, it was absolutely insane. Now these ones are like super OP. What? 600 power? Yo, that is a strong Bangzor. All right, so now, yeah, you can tell straight away this is Dragonoid. You can tell straight away that's Dragonoid right there. Yep. Oh, I can't believe I got this one mixed up. Yo, Dragon... Ventus Dragonoid? No way, yo. Let's get this out. Yo, that looks so cool. Dudes. Oh, man. Yo, Vent... Nah, nah definitely, man. Ventus is my all-time favorite colors. I like the other colors, but... My favorite by far has to be Ventus, man. Oh, how much? Oh, 200. This is the weakest one. 200 B power for a Ventus Dragonoid. Okay, a little bit underwhelming right there, but it looks really awesome. That looks cool. That looks amazing. All right, so let's do this now. So what I'm going to do, just flip it over. And the first one is here, right? So this is for this one right here. So uh, Ventus Dragonoid. Uh, it has obviously 200 B power, but it has four attacks. And if you land, if you land on a helix, before you even flip that over, you straight away get an extra 400 B power. So straight away, he's going to be six. If you land on it, boom, an extra six. That's 1200 B power. That's crazy. But then it does minus three attacks, making it only one. You have to do it with a trading card game and bring them attacks up. So there you go. That goes with that right there. Pretty awesome. Then we got the Trox. That looks cool. Trox, man. Here's Trox. So Trox has 500 B power, but only one attack. Not very good with the attacks, but only one. All right, it says Victor plus one. I think that's energy. So I think you get to energize one if you are the Victor, which is awesome because then it gives you more energy. If I'm right, I don't know. Let me just close up because I haven't got the, rule, the rules of the trading card game yet. So I might get things wrong with these little signs, but I'm trying to guess. Where I play Vanguard, I try and like guess with other games. So I think that's energized, because it's like an electric thing. So you might get to ex energize if you win with that, which is really, really helpful. Um, all right, so that goes there. Now we got, oh, what's this? Yo, look at that. 
This is an action card. This is a card that you play with the game. Okay, look at this. So five, it costs, wow, five energy. Wow, you get 400 B power and then an extra six attacks. That's a powerful card. That is a very powerful card. Nice card to have there. Then we got the Hydra's Ultra, which is right here. Now, oh, check this out. So it is 800 B power, but only one attack. You have to land on a Fiery Fist to get an extra three attacks. So that's pretty cool. Then you get extra five there as well. Uh, yo, comboed up with these and these. This is actually gonna be like kind of a good team. I might even use some of these out of the team. Yo, dudes, look at that. So epic. All right, so Aurelus, yeah, I think I say that right. Aurelus, Aurelus uh, Garganoid right here. Here's the card for it. So um, 700 B power, three attacks. And if you land on another Fiery Fist, it gives you an extra 400 B power, which is very useful. And that is there, which looks cool. Then we have the uh, the Aquas uh, Vangzor. Now, even though it's very powerful, it only got one attack. So 600 B power, which is awesome, but then only one attack. But I suppose the, the extra high B power is pretty helpful as it is anyway. I know the other one, the Heios uh, Vangzor, only had 100 B power, but seven attacks. So uh, it, it depends how you're gonna play your cards and all that stuff to uh, how much damage you're actually gonna do. All right, so stop. Pyrus uh, attacks right here for that card. Then we got stop non uh, darkest attack. So anything that is not darkest, it stops, which free energy, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, that one was free. This one here is free. This is free, it doesn't even cost nothing to use that. That's good. Then we got another one here, Turbo. If you have the most energy cards in play, draw two cards. Oh, nice. But you remember, when you're drawing cards, you're actually damaging yourself at the same time. So it could be good and it could be bad. Um, then we have this one here, Recycling Light. Um, for one energy, you can get an extra 200 B power, then put this on the bottom of your deck. Oh, that's good. So you're basically giving yourself another life again, which is awesome. So, um, all right, dudes. Yo, that I love these five packs. These five packs are absolutely amazing. In the comments below, let me know which one is your favorite. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. You know what? I love Ventus. I love green, but I have to go with the Pyrus Trox. In this, in this set, the Pyrus Trox looks my favorite. I have to go with this one. It just looks so awesome. Even though the, the dragon, oh man, it's a draw. No, it has to be a draw. That just looks so sick. I don't even know which one. It's out of Trox and Dragonoid. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys might think like, like Garganoid is better or Hydras. I don't know, but I think it's between them two. That's really hard to make a choice right there. Um, but yeah, all right. Let me know in the comments below which one of these are your favorite. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys in the next episode, dudes.